Greetings Mac Warriors, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is TTB speaking and welcome back to Mac Warrior Online. In, in today's episode we are going to play the Marauder Bounty Hunter 2. We are going to make use of that high mounted heavy gauze up here and combine that with 6 medium lasers for maximum profit. So what are we using in this mech? We are using a standard engine 300, we are using the heavy gauze rifle. That basically means that we have to use standard engine, any other engine would be too big in the side trusses to fit the heavy gauze. Then we are running, of course, heavy gauze ammo, 4 tons. We're running 2 heat sinks on the left side torso, and we are running 6 medium lasers. That gives us a firepower of a 55 alpha strike inside that heavy gauze rifle optimal range, which is 220 meters. It's gonna drop a little bit um, after that range, but you can safely use that heavy gauze up until, I would say, 500 meters for, for normal gauze effects. So don't be shy to shoot this thing. Now, we also can add one jump jet and that will help us get into positions or get above boulders and whatnot if we ever get stuck. Um, and that is basically it. We remove a little bit of armor from the head and a little bit of armor from the legs and that makes this mech complete. Okay, let's check out the skill tree real quick. Firepower. We need gauze charge 1 and 2. We need magazine capacity 1 and 2. That ensures that we have enough ammo to use. We're taking 3 laser duration nodes. We can't afford to go down the left side path towards laser duration 2. So we're just going to skip that. Then we're going to go into the survival tree and we're taking full armor hardening as well as 2 skeletal density nodes that are optional. Mobility is important for us, we want to get into the target range quickly, so we take a full speed tweak and uh, torso speed as well to be able to track the enemies a little bit better with our torso. Remember we need to shoot them with our torso mounted heavy gauze rifle. And uh, then we go into operations and we ensure this run mech runs very very cool with cool run and heat containment. And last but not least, double cool shot with cool shot cooldown and double artillery strike and that is the skill build. 55 firepower I already mentioned, 70 kph speed and a little bit of jump distance of 7 meters, not too much but enough as I said to get you out of uh, any kind of situations where you end up stuck. Heat management 1.39, not too bad. Okay, let's take this bad boy out onto the battlefield and see how it performs. I will see you guys in the dropship. Alright guys, here we are as evening dawns over River City and we are shortly going to engage the enemy in the Gulf 6 and Hotel 6 area. That is what I have decided to be my area of operations. Our rest is ready. We are ready to find some targets and then shoot them and hopefully kill them. Um, this map is a little bit challenging. Uh, it's also very very demanding on your PC. Um, it regularly kills my FPS with the day and night cycles. Um, I'm hoping it's not gonna affect me adversely here, but uh, we'll see. Right now I'm just gonna make my way up on towards the Hotel 6, Hotel 7 area. Let's see if we can get into a nice flanking position here and shoot at enemy targets in the Gulf 7 central area while the enemy team uh, is engaging our teammates in Fox 6 and Gulf 6 at least. That is my battle plan right now, guys, but uh, as you all know, those battle plans can go away pretty quickly. And by the way, here, we couldn't do that without jump jets jumping up on this little ledge here and that allows us to peek around the corner or peek around the other corner and be relatively safe because we have these big tanks um, in front of us. Um, and not uh, exposing ourselves here. Oh, and there is an enemy Jägermech coming in on the Hotel 7 area. That's what I didn't want to see, so I might want to go ahead and hightail it out of there. Um, of course, you might want to turn instantly instead of doing a full 360, but you know what? Anybody can escape a normal way. Only TTB does a 360 escape. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and hold this position. We have a high-mounted heavy gauss rifle on the right side torso, so we can easily shoot around the corner here. Uh, however, the medium lasers will probably hit the ground if we try that. I just saw something. I saw something, guys. I, s I think I saw some pixels move. Let's, let's go ahead and check it out. Or let's see whether I am seeing ghosts. Am I seeing ghosts? No, I'm not seeing ghosts. I'm seeing scout mechs. A uh, little bit out of range, though. Can't really hit him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's let that little uh, that little shit uh, go ahead and take his bath, and we're gonna focus ourselves on towards the Gulf Seven area. Or is he coming towards us? No, I can't see him anymore. Never mind. I'm just gonna join the rest of the team here. There's no sense in duking it out one on one um, with somebody you can barely see. And that's interesting, guys. There's two targets now in Hotel Seven for some reason. Oh, we need to be careful here, guys. Very careful. Do not shoot your teammates into the back with heavy gauze. It is brutal. So, got a Nova Cat up front and still the Jäger Mech. And I think we can take both of them. Uh, I'm gonna put down the airstrike as soon as I can. Not now, right now. We need to get a little bit closer though, because we want to make sure we get our medium lasers into the fight and the range on them, the good range on them is 300 meters. So, 
Let's get closer. We've got a friend with us. Perfect. There's Jägermeck coming in. And he is really sticking to his name. It's going hardcore after my poor shadow cat. That's okay, though. We're going to shoot him in the back here. Open him up quite nicely. And then uh, hopefully murder him with a heavy ghost round. Come on. Ah, not quite. Uh, and there we go. That's one of the little FPS lags that I mentioned. Uh, there we go. Finally. Settled uh, and sealed the deal here. Yeah, as I said, guys, uh, there was a little FPS lag, and that can really throw off your aim uh, big time, and that can be the difference between winning a match or losing a match, or between life and death for you. Um, and I honestly have no understanding why PGI chooses to keep this bullshit in the game. Um, it's it's not it's not adding anything. It's just uh, disrupting game flow. And I'm missing my shots. Okay, never mind then. Let's go ahead and try and scare that piranha away. He can't do much against us from the front, but if he jumps us from behind, he can take out our heavy gas rifle quite easily. Luckily enough, though, guys, he went for the wrong side torso. He went for the left side torso. The left side torso doesn't have any weapons, just has two heat sinks. The heavy gas in the Marauder Bounty Hunter 2 is in the right side torso. So let's see if we can go ahead and find him again. Nope. He's still engaging my teammates, um, but he's behind cover now, so we need to get a little bit closer here. I'm just trying to see him on the map here. There we go, finally. Okay. So teammates lagged him and we bagged him. I think that is a good good thing to have happen and now we go in on the mad cat who is currently chasing down my teammate uh, but I want to be a little bit in cover though, oh, hang on, sorry, don't want to block you, there we go to Gulf, drop the heavy gauze round downrange and uh, keep working on enemy targets of opportunity, for example that atlas um, just try to scare him away right now because I don't want his fire on me um, and then go back into cover and this building will, will suffice quite nicely. Four kills to four, so this is a very even game right now. Let's go ahead and try and make it uneven, for example, going in on the Fafnir Foxtrot. I don't know how healthy he is, but apparently he wasn't anymore after we shot him together with our teammates, which means we can now direct our attention towards the Mad Cat on the side. And uh, he doesn't look too healthy. Yeah, he looks very unhealthy. He's dead now. Perfect. Uh, we can go in now on the Vapor Eagle. His CT is open. He only gets, <laughs> he's got three heavy machine guns. Well, you're not going to do much with that, buddy. Um, let's go ahead, give him a nice back shot. Holy hell! How much back armor was that? I might have hidden the side torso a little bit there because uh, otherwise I should have gotten the kill here instantly. Okay, nine kills over four. We are definitely winning this, which means we can go in now and seal the deal. It's an enemy grasshopper that is still running away from us, but uh, we should be able to catch up with him quite shortly. Six to nine kph is not that fast, but it's also not that slow. It's a nice a medium speed, I would say. Let's see, what do we have here? Target India down below. There's a grasshopper. We shoot him in the back. Beautiful. Come on, give me that side torso. Ah, he twisted. Damn it. I hit his side. CT, I'm upset. Waiting for a teammate to jump above me. Didn't hit, unfortunately. And there's still one guy. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Uh, okay. Uh, close range laser surgery. And by surgery, I mean I just swept my lasers left to right. And uh, that ensured the kill here. Okay. 12 kills over 5. The final score. Nice round. Three killing blows, eight assists, one solo kill, three KBDs, 705 damage done, five components taken out. Guys, if you like this content, if you would like to become an active supporter of the channel, check out my Patreon page. And we are going to go ahead and jump right into the next game here on Mining Collective as we soar majestically on our jets into the sky for about two meters. Then we drop down like a stone. Okay, never mind then. Uh, let's get in closer to the middle because you guys know on this map, he who controls the middle controls the match for the most part. So um, let's try and help out our teammates. You already got two guys in the middle. And I shall be the third. Gable Vare the Thirsty Man. Or something like that. I don't remember my 13th warrior correctly. So, one jump jet, enough to get up here. And now we have this position, and now we should be able to shoot any targets that come around the corner. And uh, we can go ahead and help out our buddy here. Oh, hello, Mad Cat, lasers, Gauss rifle, twist, and goodbye. Reset the Gauss rifle, go back in, lasers, Gauss rifle, missed and again, back into cover. Okay, I missed the Black Ladder, that's okay. I just want to hold this position here. I want to dissuade the enemy from uh, from pushing in here further. So I'm just going to stay here and hopefully my assaults will uh, at any point in time between now and never arrive. Yes, and uh, start pushing the enemy. And uh, that will allow me to move to a different position because the enemy team is uh, swinging around a little bit right now. Echo 5 towards uh, Delta 5, but there's still no reason for me to move. I'm just going to drop down the artillery strike or airstrike. Uh, trying to hit those targets over to the right a little bit. And we do. Perfect. Uh, the Black Lander is still up there. Let's go ahead and give him a 
parting present to the back. Beautiful. He's opened up and he should be dead in a second. There we go. Nice shot from our teammates. And now we take a different position, guys. Again, we take a high position. We have the uh, arm-mounted weapons and we have the heavy gauss rifle that's shooting from high up top. So, we can use that to shoot down at enemies quite quickly and quite easily. Uh, let's support our teammate here. Go in on the enemy direwolf and kill him because he peeked too far. He went too far and he saw things he should have never seen. For example, TTB in a bounty hunter. Um, and that's why he died. Yeah, let's go in on the champion and go back a little bit and get some backfire here from that enemy Piranha who just does a run by. Um, and my arm is critical damage now. By that Centurion and his LB10. Okay, you know what, Centurion? I'm I'm slightly pissed now. I'm slightly pissed now, which means you are going to eat a heavy ghost round. One, two, and bye bye. Beautiful. Okay. Let's turn around and join the rest of our team. We just stopped somebody from uh, running around in our back, which is a good thing to do. Let's support our Cyclops buddy here, going on the Assassin. Heavy Ghost run unfortunately misses. That was a little bit of bad aiming on my part. So let's see, can we catch him off guard here? Boom! Yes, we can. Nice shot to the side torso, and now he is stuck in a corner. As you guys see, I'm shielding with my left arm now, because my right arm was already critical damaged, and if I had shielded to the right side, I would have lost that right arm. So. Make sure you protect your components as much as possible. See? Both my arms are red, but I still have six medium lasers in them. It's all about spreading your damage. Choosing engagements and spreading your damage. Uh, speaking about doing damage, let's go in on the champion now. Come on, look at me. Yes, shoot me. Perfect. And now we go for CT. He's open. He's dead. Beautiful. And I've got a quick draw on my face. Once again, for the second time. Today, we have quick draws in our faces, um, and then can't kill Light Mech because he dies before we can shoot him. That is sad. Okay, and the team seals the deal. 12 kills over one. That was a tiny bit stompy. Let's go ahead and see how we did on the scoreboard. And guys, if you haven't done so yet, also make sure to subscribe to this channel, of course, to get notified whenever there is a new video, and follow me on Twitch. Three killing blows, two solo kills, three KDDs, 581 damage done, eight components taken out, Marauder, Bounty Hunter, go collect some bounties, guys.